This is Lou Dobbs Tonight. News, debate, and opinion. An independent view. Here again, Kitty Pilgrim. Well, more disturbing signs of this country's troubled economy. Unemployment is now at a four-year high, 5.7%. Businesses have cut jobs for the seventh straight month. And at the same time, there's alarming new evidence of something we've been reporting here for years. Our so-called free trade policies are failing middle-class Americans. Bill Tucker has our report. Our economy lost 70,000 manufacturing jobs in June and July alone. Since December, 271,000 manufacturing jobs have been lost. The manufacturing job losses have been accelerating, even though we have a smaller manufacturing base. Automobiles certainly is losing jobs, but we're losing jobs in other durable goods industries, largely because we can't export into the fast-growing Asian markets. We can't export to Asia, but we do import. The U.S. trade deficit with communist China more than tripled since China entered the World Trade Organization. From $84 billion in 2001 to $262 billion in 2007. As those hundreds of billions of dollars were pumped out of the American economy, so were millions of jobs. In their analysis of trade, wage and labor, the Economic Policy Institute found that our trade practices cost us more than 2 million jobs. 44% of the workers who lost their jobs were workers with no college degree, posing a big risk to our economy. 70% of American workers don't have a college degree. That's 100 million workers. Are we going to write them off? Are we going to you know, write them a, a, a pension check and tell them to go away and, and, uh, and get a college degree? I don't think so. 12 states lost more than 2% of their total jobs to trade, according to the analysis. Idaho and New Hampshire led the country, each losing 2.5% or more. Two-thirds of the jobs lost were manufacturing jobs, and many of those jobs, roughly 200,000, were jobs held by scientists and engineers within manufacturing. A college degree provided no protection, outraging those who speak on behalf of industry. 31% of the jobs that we've lost to China uh, occurred among workers who have a four-year college degree. And more than half a million of the jobs occurred in the computer and electronics sector and advanced technology. The very jobs that we have been told are the future of the American economy. Now, according to this report by the nonpartisan EPI, one third of the workers who lose their jobs will not find another job. And among those that do, the jobs will pay less, about $8,000 a year less, stripping $19 billion in wages out of the economy. That's what it did in 2007. The single strongest source for job growth now, government. And Kitty, the taxpayer base is eroding. That's right. And state and local governments may have to start cutting jobs as the economy trims ta exactly. the tax base. Exactly. It, 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 is, it is what they call a, a, a non... Uh, uh, this, this, the cycle is not good. It feeds on itself and it caves in on itself. Thanks very much, Bill Tucker. Disturbing report.